Have you ever wondered how The Weeknd gets his vocals to be so clear inside of his mix, but yet he still has so much reverb and just washing this stuff going on? Today, we're gonna to be answering that question. Hi, my name is Tyson. I'm a mastering engineer here at Dinosaur Dog Mastering, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at The Weeknd and exactly what he's doing with his vocals inside of his mix, and basically emulating that inside of our own mix to show you exactly how to get clear, punchy vocals out front, but still having a lot of that wash and effect going on. So this can be used for any style of music, especially if you have a lot of vocal effects going on. Before we dive into the actual tutorial, I want to let you know that I have the Ultimate Mixing Checklist available for download. You can pick that up right in the description below. The first link in the description will bring you to a page where you can download that. Okay, with that said, let's dive straight into the tutorial about how to get your vocals to really pop with a lot of effects going on. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you a really quick trick and very easy trick to really make your vocals shine and really pop in your mix, especially when you have a lot of delay and reverb and other effects going on. So you still want that heavy reverb sound from your vocals and effect, but you still want to have your lead vocal be the primary thing that people hear. You still want to be able to understand it, etc. I have the lead vocal here in the last chorus and there's a lot of effects going on. So I'm just going to play it for you so you can kind of tell the, the lead vocal itself is going to get kind of lost in this last section because there's so many effects going on. We were just lost, we were just lost in the airfield. We were just lost, we were just lost in the airfield. So you can tell there's just a lot going on and we would rather be able to hear the lead vocal well. So there's a very simple way to do this. The first thing I have already done is that I've already sent my my vocal delay on a separate bus. So that's going to bus 19 or 29, excuse me. And 29 is right here. What we want to do here is add a compressor. And we're just gonna use a digital compressor. We want this to be very transparent. I'm not trying to color the sound at all. All I'm trying to do is sidechain to the main vocal so then the delay backs off whenever the vocal comes in. So the vocal is the primary thing you hear instead of just the delay. How we do this is we go to sidechain and I'm gonna use audio and I'm gonna go find that vocal. So it's Vox2 lead chorus is the lead vocal that is happening here. And then I'm going to set my threshold. I'm gonna set my ratio a little higher. I'm gonna set my threshold so that I'm getting about three to five decibels of gain reduction. So that way, whenever the vocal comes in, this is just beginning ducked out of the way for that. I'm gonna leave my knee fairly high. I'm gonna move my attack very fast and then my release and eh, semi-fast. We'll just leave it at 50. That's probably, probably good. And then I'm not going to do any makeup gain at all because I just want this to be reduced whenever the vocal is in and normal when the vocal is not singing. Let's play it. We'll set our threshold and see how this sounds. We were just lost, we were just lost in the airfield. We were just lost, we were just lost in the airfield. We were just lost, we were just lost in the airfield. We were just lost, we were just lost, hanging on to, hanging on to. We were just lost, we were just lost in the airfield. Okay, that's pretty good. So now what we have is our vocal just ducking out of the way whenever we have our lead vocal in. Here is before we made that change uh, and just listen to that lead vocal. So it's pretty subtle, but it really just makes more room for that lead vocal to really shine, especially in this last chorus. Uh, so let me know in the comments, do you struggle with getting your lead vocal to shine, especially adding reverb, etc.? Do you struggle with getting your vocal being pushed too far back in the mix? So leave me a comment down below if you struggle with that or not. All right, with that said, 
Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe because I release videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help you get more professional mixes. And I'll see you in the next one.